Let's do the Halloween stomp. Do the flying Superman. Hands up in the air. Hands up in the air. Do the marching soldier. Ready? And do the prancing princess. Do the prancing princess. <laughs> do the slicing ninja. Come on, skip some rocks. Okay, ready? Gotta find a good flat one. There's no flat ones here though. If you can skip around one, that's pretty good. Ready? Oh yeah. Oh, daddy got one. Oh, look at mommy. So we just got back from a trip to Florida. We went to Disney again. This time we visited Animal Kingdom and Magic Kingdom. We're gonna come out with a Magic Kingdom video soon, along with other videos. We're gonna focus our videos for young families that wanna stay active. Um, so if you're interested in that, like and subscribe to our videos. But if you're planning to do a trip to Disney, today we're counting down top five things to do with your toddler at Animal Kingdom. And there's a few little extras for the parents to help you survive. Number five. Triceratops Spin. Located inside Dino Land USA at Animal Kingdom, this classic carousel style ride has no height restrictions, short wait times, but lots of thrills for little ones. The ride vehicle itself has room for four people and there are controls so your little archeologist can move the vehicle up and down if they're in the front seat and they can control the pitch from the back seat. While you're in Dino Land USA, you'll find lots of other fun little things to do too, like the Cretaceous Trail and the Boneyard Playground. So make sure to give yourself time to explore the area. Number four. Hi. <laughs> Number four. <laughs> Character Cavalcades. Throughout Animal Kingdom, you'll find lots of bridges that connect the different lands to Discovery Island which is at the center of the park and where you'll find the Tree of Life. And under those bridges flows Discovery River. And it's there that your kiddos can see classic Disney characters as they float on by. You saw Goofy? Now, if your little one is anything like ours, she's gonna wear you out. So make sure to take some time for yourself. We stopped at Warung Outpost for a Maharaja Lime Margarita, and we grabbed a non-alcoholic Shangri-La Berry Freeze for Grace. Not too far from Warung Outpost is a great little seating area with shade, tables, and a great view of the Tree of Life, and the character cavalcades float right by here. You can kick back and enjoy your margarita while your little one enjoys her frozen treat and watches her favorite Disney characters cruise by. Please. You want dill <laughs> You want dill pickle chips? You want your pickle chips? Pickle chips. <laughs> 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 As described by Disney, huge 3D kites and wind catchers dance through the air to the beat of classic Disney songs. There are two 10 minute shows and we saw the Lion King show. The kites are really impressive and it's a fun show for kids. Plus you get to sit down and give your feet a break for a few minutes. But there isn't much shade here so maybe plan to catch this show at the beginning of the day or at the end. Just try and avoid the midday Florida sun. we stopped at Satuli Canteen, which is located in Pandora, World of Avatar. The theming here, like the rest of Animal Kingdom, is great. And the food was delicious and pretty unique. We ordered cheeseburger steamed pods, which are stuffed with ground beef, ketchup, mustard, pickle, and cheddar cheese, and served with vegetable chips and crunchy coleslaw. Plus, the coleslaw is topped with these little sweet Pandora caviar. The whole presentation is very otherworldly and keeps you immersed in Pandora. Take a 
Mommy. Walking stick. Walking stick. Number two. Navi River Journey. Located in Pandora, you and your little one will be transported to the bioluminescent rainforests of Pandora. This is a gentle, family-friendly river ride and is visually stunning. Just like the movie, you'll get to see all the amazing plants and animals of Pandora as you make your way to see the Navi Shaman of Song. The highlight of the ride is when you approach the shaman, a 10 foot tall animatronic figure. Your kids will be amazed at the incredible colors and sounds, but if you're anything like Cat and I, you'll be blown away by what the Disney Imagineers have accomplished here. Make sure you head back to Pandora at dusk and watch as the land slowly transforms into a bioluminescent world at night. The lights don't just turn on here, they slowly begin to glow as the sky gets darker, just the way it would on Pandora. It's really a sight to be seen and Grace loved how everything glowed, even her shoes. Here's another one for the parents. Do yourself a favor and have a nice long dinner at Tiffin's. Inspired by the Imagineers that built Animal Kingdom, the lobbies, hallways, and dining rooms are full of artwork, sculptures, and field sketches based on actual research by Disney Imagineers. I ordered an ice cold beer and Kat ordered a High Tower Rocks. To start, we got the duo of appetizers, which is charred octopus and chickpea falafel. For the main course, Kat and I ordered the surf and turf. This dish comes with South African beef tenderloin, seared sea scallops, potato pave, grilled vegetables, vegetables, danya butter, and cola demi-glaze. For Grace, we ordered a grilled chicken breast and green beans from the kids menu. The food was delicious and the restaurant is very quiet, which is a nice reprieve from the hustle and bustle of the park. We felt totally recharged and ready to finish the day strong. Good throw. Number one. Kilimanjaro Safari. This attraction takes top spot on our list. This is no ordinary safari. In usual Disney style, the theming and attention to detail is unparalleled. With no sight lines beyond the safari and terrain, you feel totally transported to the African savanna. And that savanna created by Disney is larger than the entire Magic Kingdom, coming in at 110 acres. The ride itself is about 20 minutes long and you'll experience open plains, shady forests, and rocky wetlands. And hopefully see most of the 34 species found within the reserve. You'll better your odds if you go first thing in the morning when the animals are more active. The level of detail and theming at Animal Kingdom is unmatched and probably the best of all the Disney World parks in our opinion. So be sure to take the time to appreciate it. But the centerpiece of the park, and certainly not to be missed, is the Tree of Life. Standing at 14 stories tall, with over 8,000 branches and 102,000 man-made leaves, this is a marvel of engineering and artistry. There are over 300 animals carved into the tree, and the It's Tough to be a Bug show is located inside the tree. Take some time to explore and see how many animals you can find. If you and your toddler can stay awake until after dark, don't miss the Tree of Life Awakenings. This dazzling light show is projected onto the Tree of Life and is accompanied by original music. It runs every 10 minutes until the park closes and it's a great way to end the day. So that's our top five list for things to do at Disney's Animal Kingdom with a woo woo toddler. <laughs> <laughs>